Alaikum. <coughs> there have been some emails and other things that people asking that there's a person or people that dreaming about the last days and events of the last days and about Sayyidina Mahdi uh, Shaykh, what do you think? And then propagating everything as if this person is Sayyidina Mahdi And I don't want to be rude so I'm trying to control my <laughs> my manner <laughs> on this subject <laughs> and not use uh, adjectives that would be unpleasant to people. But tariqah are trained men of God in which they, they have nothing to do with dreams. We don't trust anything that has anything to do with dreams. We don't have guidance from dreams. The dream and the dream people are dead people. Anyone taking guidance from dreams for us is a dead person. Guidance comes through a living and awakened connection. The dream world based on the nafs of people, nafs is so strong in blocking the connection that it waits for the person to sleep. But the problem with a dream state and a dreamer giving us information about Akhir Zaman is that we've described in many videos and these people should go back to Google or YouTube that what the shaykh thinks about dreams and that will give you the understanding of anyone claiming that, oh through dreams I've seen the apocalypse, I've seen Sayyidina Mahdi I've seen this, I've seen that, we don't care it's all rubbish. If it's true it's good for you that Allah doesn't need from His servants anything from dreams because He gave to them the tariqahs. And put these people in seclusions for many, many days, train them with many horrific events, many horrific trainings, many different difficulties and secured their connection. And at the end they have an ijazah that your connection is to our hearts, connected all the way to the heavens. As a result it's a live broadcast. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Not dead broadcast, not delusions and not illusions. So, Mahdiyoon their alive hearts, their Ahlul Basira, that through their hearts they witness what Allah want them to witness. If the heart is not alive and the heart doesn't see, why Allah want to proclamate an information through a dead heart and dead eyes? He doesn't have servants that can see. He doesn't have servants that can hear. All that we teach about of the hadith of Qudsi that you did your fard, so means then your head would be covered and your face would have a beard. And after you did your fard you approached with your voluntary worshipness and that their lives are a service and khidmat to Prophet as a result Allah become the eyes in which you see, the ears in which you hear. There's no dreams. Dreams you could be sleeping and shaitan coming to you, the jinn coming to you, 
your diet and your food coming to you, your wife coming to you with all of her uh, talkings and every type of family issue in your life, you've been dreaming all night of everything. So it means this physicality can be influenced by many, many things. But what Allah is talking about is the connection of a servant where Allah is describing, I will be the ears in which you hear, that's not a dream state. That's Allah saying, I'm giving from my attributes of hearing, it can be infinite in its power. They can hear from the earth, there are people who can hear the zikr of fishes, the zikr of animals or Allah can open their hearing all the way into the seven heavens and into the heart of Prophet then Allah describe, I'll be the seeing in which you see, the hands in which you touch, the feet in which you move. And so much so you become Rabbaniyoon and whatever you want is kun fayakun because your will is, is matching the will of Allah matching the will of Prophet and matching the will of Ulul Amr. So they don't want what Allah doesn't want, they want only what Allah wants. So means this system of rijal and the master of all these rijal is Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi Immense power, immense training, many, many, many years in seclusion in caves with all awliya and all fires and dress and lights and blessings upon that's so powerful you can't look into his face without dying. The Jewish people they couldn't go into a room from a tablet because Allah wrote those tablets and they had the Ark of the Covenant. And because Allah wrote on those tablets of stone that Nabi Musa broke, there was so much energy coming from this covenant, this box that the angels were carrying, if they went into the room they would die unless they fasted for three days, washed and had specific diet. And this is for a box with stones. What about the heart in which Allah's nazar is looking continuously into this Mahdiyoon heart? The one whom represents the family and haqqaiq of Sayyidina Muhammad in full sunnah, full beard, whitish red complexion, red turban with a birthmark on his eyes, doesn't look like some person that doesn't follow the sunnah, it's not even a face that anyone could see. The glimpse of the holy face would make the person to be qashi and die unless they have prepared themselves and their hearts. The zuhur and the presence of Sayyidina Mahdi is not something that he's going to guess himself who he is. He knows who he is, this is a hadith of Prophet who knows himself will know his Lord. This servant knows his Lord very well, he's such a knower that he's coming to bring all knowers into their haqqaiq. So this is shaitan playing with people thinking that uh, McDonald's is coming or Burger King is coming, no these clowns is not what we're waiting for, Sayyidina Mahdi has nothing to do with that. Most of these people will be dead before that time. Even the false allegation that you represent that you will be dead. Seventy-thousand scholars will be dead. All those who talk against Sayyidina Muhammad will be perished by Allah There is no playing with that reality. There's no false representation of that reality. And this all hadith of Prophet 70,000 scholars will perish. Who would they be? Uh, the one whom falsely claim anything about Sayyidina Mahdi and the ones whom claim or speak against the realities of Prophet So we are in those times now. So alhamdulillah that Allah guided us to this Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah and the way of awliyaullah. And Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah is directly connected to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi 
We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from its realities and leave the rubbish of dreaming people and come to the people whom their hearts are awake and study from them, learn from them and struggle and fight against your bad characteristics and achieve from what they're describing to achieve inshaAllah. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Shafat Ya Rasul Kareem InshaAllah what do we have from our SMC family, mashaAllah with all the posts and we can't even keep up with the posts, we're just trying to share the posts. Now we're databasing all the images so that it can show up in our books and in our articles and everything. So we're now on, on trying to database all these uh, wonderful images. The AI, shaykh.ai I think has a blog posts, so it's grabbing these main ones and putting them into there as a blog post. So alhamdulillah lots of efforts are coming, lots of, uh, lots of actions inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum Salaam Wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi I feel like a selfish person because I mostly enjoy attending the live mawlid with you but after that throughout the week I'm having a lack of motivation to be of service. How to overcome this problem? Sayyidi I feel a lack of, lack of seeker mentality like just doing practices for energy gain rather than increasing love and seeking realities. Please guide. Yeah, keep continuing, that's what the whole talk was today, you can talk it again, so that was the whole talk was about that. There's shaitan, so shaitan is uh, cutting the energy of people, trying to harm them but alhamdulillah Allah is the greatest of protectors. So these dragons and these protections that Allah has sent upon the believers and those whom have taken the bayat. Yeah, but he's still trying to cut their frequency and through their salawats and continuous muraqabah try to reach to that energy, connect to that energy and you have to fight it. So you go and watch a movie like The Lord of the Rings that your fight is one against 300, 500,000. If you're tired of swinging because there's just so many of these demons you can't because as soon as you stop swinging they come all over you and start to eat you. So it's a life of continuous swinging, swinging, swinging everywhere to get these shaitans off. That becomes the salawat and the muraqabah and connection. And all they want is for us just to stop and shut it down and make everybody have waswas. And we described in Surah Munafiqeen where Allah says, not only ask them to ask about Prophet to forgive them. But they go around saying, don't support these people whom love Sayyidina Muhammad So this is a, is, a, is a big sign from shayateen when they tell you to support and your shaitan says, no. Means you're under difficulty, you're under attack, he's too close and he's countering everything. So this is, the, this is the greatest fight. If we can survive, survive those fights then inshaAllah we try to reach towards the light. And that, that becomes then you know the, the sense of uh, success or defeat. But keep trying, keep connecting, keep making your salawats inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Wa Alaikum As Salaam Sayyidi, how does one confront this hypocrisy one sees in himself? To fight it. <laughs> That's it. InshaAllah. <laughs> no, fight, fight, fight your devils. That's the whole talk, inshaAllah. Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Azzat Amma Yasifu wa Salaamun al Mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Bi Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa Basira Surat al-Fatiha.
Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.